The reason codes for invalid transaction code or transaction data occur when there is wrong transaction data in the actual processing. The transaction code actually refers to the type of transaction, a credit, a debit, or others, while the transaction data contains information on the card, the merchant, the location, and others. And there can be errors in both of these. Let's take a closer look. There is a group of reason codes that represent similar issues, but are usually specified, each with its own unique code. These are situations that involve invalid transaction codes and invalid transaction data. Let me elaborate. First are invalid transaction codes. This simply occurs when the transaction code provided was different from the real one. So the merchant process a credit transaction instead of a debit one, or process the transaction in some other way that is different from the transaction described in the authorization requested. So there is a mismatch about the specific transaction type. The second is invalid transaction data. This is when the merchant submits an authorization request that contains incorrect information, such as having the wrong merchant code, country, merchant or transaction type, or others. When this type of situation occurs, the merchant usually has to avoid the transaction and accept the dispute, and if possible, create a new transaction with the correct information. It can be prevented by, first of all, double-checking all data sent, including the most frequently mistyped data, which may be the name of your city, state, actual merchant name, or others. Another recommendation is to always include all necessary information. Missing information can be considered invalid as well. And merchants should always train their staff to perform these checks as well, so that everyone does it. What are some examples of invalid transaction codes or data? The first is an invalid MCC, or merchant category code. Ironically, the merchant may make the mistake of getting their own merchant code wrong. Even if this authorization is granted, the data will be invalid. Another example are the small, quick mistakes that merchants can make. It's very common for someone to make a small mistake here and there, such as entering one digit wrong or one letter wrong and compromising the transaction code, merchant code, or another field. And finally, there is no guarantee that you can avoid this type of chargeback. But it all begins by training staff to diligently double-check transaction data. Doing this already goes a long way. What are our key takeaways? The first is that one type of reason code will occur when the transaction code itself is wrong. Processing a debit instead of a credit, a credit instead of a rebuttal, and so on. The second is that transaction data itself can be wrong. Wrong merchant code, location, transaction ID, and so on. And the reason code will be a distinct one from this other situation. And finally, paying attention helps. These situations are almost always generated by human error. So diligence on the part of the merchants goes a long way in preventing them from sending wrong information in the first place. So as we see, both having the wrong transaction code, but also wrong transaction data, can both generate reason codes for chargebacks.